Welcome back True Believers and spectacular Spidey fans to another very exciting Spider-Man PS4 related video. Once again doing another very exciting unboxing related video to some awesome merchandise regarding the game. And before I forget, huge shout out to awesome Spidey Squad community fan member of Awesome Fruit on Twitter for actually knowing and acknowledging about this specific item online and actually recommending it to all of us awesome Spidey fans so that you can get it at Walmart, which funny enough, uh, there are no actual Walmarts near where I live, only Best Buys and Targets, but I don't actually have any Walmarts near uh, Pacifica, California where I reside in, but I ordered this online because it's a brand new or a different version of the collector's box that you could get for Marvel's Spider-Man. Because if you do recall back when it was announced that GameStop had an exclusive collector's box filled with awesome merchandise like the Spider-Man blanket and the coin bank with the web sh shooters and everything, this is another version of the collector's box with brand new items inside of it. And it's really, really cool. It's not um, you know open yet. I haven't even looked inside of it, but the pictures do showcase what is in this package. But I am very excited to unbox it for you guys. And I will leave a link to it in the description if you do want to try and pick this up for yourself. It's less than uh, $20, but then you do have to pay for shipping and all that if you do want to purchase this. It's a really cool item. And if you're, of course, if you're a huge fan of the game like I am and of all the Spidey Squad members are, definitely, definitely try and pick yourself up one of these. And also, if you're a fan of the alternate suits within the game, like the Advanced Suit or Anti-Ox Suit or Mainly, which is cool because it's also featured in one of the J. Jonah Jameson podcasts, is Spider-Punk because oddly, they are making different Funko Pops of the other Spider-Man suits within the game based off of Marvel Spider-Man, like that of Spirit Spider, and also the negative advanced suit, and then they also have the standard ones with Peter, Unmasked, and Miles, and Mary Jane, and Mr. Negative, and there's other suits that I think, of course, we would all wanna see as Funko Pops, like Scarlet Spider, the Dark Suit, the Bulletproof Suit, 2099, all these cool costumes. But for some reason, because they're also making a hot toy of it, it would make sense that Marvel Games and Insomniac and Funko collaborated to make a Funko Pop off of Spider-Punk. So I thought maybe I could unbox them in two separate videos, but I just said, what the heck, I'll do both in one. So we're first actually going to start off with the Funko Pop, and then we're going to move on to the big one of the new collector's box, um, which I believe is only exclusive at Walmart. I'm not sure if they sell it anywhere else, but where I found it, where Awesome Fruit found it on Twitter, it's apparently only at Walmart. But still, I'm gonna have a blast unboxing these for you guys to enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are with the first item on our agenda, everybody, is the one and only Spider-Punk Funko Pop from Spider-Man PS4, or what some Spidey fans are calling it, the spider Punko Pop, which is really hard to say really fast because it's a tongue twister. But yes, they are making really cool pop vinyls based off the alternate costumes of Spider-Man PS4 because as you see right there, that's the name of the game, Marvel Spider-Man and Pop Games. So it's not off the Marvel brand or anything like that. It is actually based directly 100% off of the Spider-Man PS4 costume design because there are some really cool aspects of this pop that do directly relate to how it is designed in the game itself. Marvel Gamerverse and PX previews exclusive. So I uh, pre-ordered this or ordered this um, actually back in, I believe, April or actually March, I think. And it was scheduled to release in April, but then it got delayed and on Entertainment Earth. So I will leave, I will try to leave a link in the description to that if you want to try and pre-order it yourselves. But this is a very limited one that does come in a limited stock. So I will try and hopefully have you guys get it so that way it doesn't fully go out of stock. And as you saw, that was the art of the punk pop itself with the other pops based off the game with Unmasked Peter, Mary Jane, Miles and Mr. Negative, and the number of it is 503. There's the art again, looks great. And then the side view, spider punk, top, there's his head, bottom, just descriptions, and then bam, our beautiful boar right here. And of course, like I said, they are making different pops of alternate suits. So far, we do have Spider Punk and also Spirit Spider. Now, I, for one, really would like to see a Funko Pop based off either the Anti-Ox suit or seeing that it's actually going to get its own comic series of the Velocity suit. I think that'd be really cool. I know a lot of people want Undies Spidey, which would be really weird, or 299 or Noir, but I think this is flat out incredible. So I did actually take this out beforehand and make sure it is in good condition. And it is, and it looks awesome. It's a bobble, so it does in fact bobble. Nitpick, small nitpick time. 
the guitar isn't the right guitar. So if you do look at this footage here of the Spider-Punk costume in action, the guitar of it is actually one of those sharper guitars with the ends of it more sleek and slant. This is a different guitar from what he has in the actual game. Still, I do absolutely love how they did stick exactly 100% to the Insomniac design right there with the SFNM on it, which obviously stands for Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man on the back of his Spider logo with the very glistening uh, you know, punk rock spikes on his leather jacket along the belt too. You can't actually feel them on his shoulders and everything that looks great. His bracelets are awesome looking, which are also his web shooters. If you can kind of see on the bottom there, I think you can. That's his web shooter for his spider punk design. And he's holding a little guitar pick for his spider guitar, which is awesome. And right there, the web design pattern on the guitar, the guitar string itself, the bass, and all the badges and buttons he has on his standard costume, looking rad. Uh, you know, obviously this is Hobie Brown from the comics uh, in this universe, but in the game, Peter's wearing it as just a cool alternate costume, which is really cool. And of course, to pay homage to Insomniac again, they have the cool little spider symbol on the shoes, which is awesome. And they don't have it on the bottom here, but if you do look at the bottom of these shoes in the game, they do have like a cool spider symbol design on each sole of the shoe, but they don't have that in this Funko Pop because they gotta put trademark logos and everything to make sure that this is an official brand from Marvel and Insomniac and Funko, which is awesome. And of course, the four metal spikes on his head to resemble a mohawk and his eye lenses to look like that of the uh, classic game suit but the uh, outer shell, the black parts aren't like layered. It's just like kind of the Into the Spider-Verse head with metal spikes on it to resemble a punk and a mohawk. And it looks great. The guitar is awesome. It feels very smooth. I love the little detail of the guitar pick, him holding the guitar, his sneakers, his jeans, his suit all in one, the leather jacket, the buttons, the eyes, everything looks great. The advanced suit is still my favorite pop to date. Uh, but this is actually the most detailed, one of the most detailed Spider-Man pops I've ever seen. Uh, the lining on the suit's great. Again, the kind of jaded metal crystal, you know, parts on the uh, jacket itself, the eyes, everything. It just screams Spider-Man. If you're a fan of the alternate suits of the game, I definitely recommend that you check out Spider-Punk because this pop is definitely one worth getting in my opinion. So with our newly opened Spider-Punk pop on the side with our best pal Spidey right in front of us with my favorite suit of the game, of course, being the advanced suit is in fact this brand new collector's box of Spider-Man PS4. Once again, I think that this is only exclusive to Walmart. And as you see there, it does in fact come with new items, including this one, which may seem very familiar to you if you are a hardcore Spider-Man fan like myself, who is really hardcore and knowing everything about the game and especially any new merch that comes out for the game. So mainly here is two pins. One, uh, apparently a mask of Spider-Man, mainly the advanced suit mask, and another pin of the white spider logo with a red outline on it, which makes it different from the other pins we see. A backpack, which is kind of more like a handbag or not satchel, but like one, not really an exact backpack like what we got in the standard collector's box, but more like a bag that you can just zip up, zip out, and then put stuff in, then zip it up, and then you're all good to go. With a really cool web patterning on it with a white spider symbol, blue outlines, red, black webs, awesome. Here is another journal, which is kind of hard to see, but it is of ESU, Empire State University, Peters College, and a new notebook, a bigger notebook, what it looks like uh, compared to what we have in the standard collector's box of kind of like a mini journal. And then we will get to this one, but here is a really sick vinyl decal of the 2016 Spider-Man PS4 pose uh, from the first trailer with the advanced suit logo in the background and a red circle, which is beautiful. This is really, really nostalgic for me because, you know, seeing the first trailer again is, is nuts and just seeing it on a decal is insane. Now this though is very, very intriguing because in the original collector's box promotional teases, we saw this and uh, the hand, the Spider-Man hand, which turned out to be a coin bank. But this, we had no idea what it was. And it turned out if you got the standard collector's box, it was a blanket instead of this. But this box actually does come with this item, which apparently, I won't spoil it to you guys, is very different from that with what we got in the standard collector's box. And I'm very intrigued that they actually made two separate boxes of this. But before I uh, you know, fully dive into it, that's the front. There's the bottom, Marvel Gamerverse, with a huge logo on it, which looks awesome. And there's a side, another side. Another side here, all with the hexagonal spider pattern, which pattern, which looks great. You see my reflection? Hey there, guys. Um, with the you know labeling and Marvel Gamerverse, Culture Fly, 
right there. They are the makers of it and Game Reverse again. So that's the um, outline of the box, what it looks like from the outside and everything. But again, um, I love more merch makes me a happy Spider-Man fan, specifically anything related to the game, whether that is um, the advanced suit or Spider-Punk Funko Pop or anything like that. I am totally down for more merch. And again, if anything, what Insomniac Games has, which I don't think is actually an official item that you can buy yet, but they do have a plushie of the advanced suit. And by God, do I want that plushie like no man has ever wanted a stuffed plushie before. I mean, seriously, I have all the Funko Pops. I, I think I might pre-order the Hot Toy. I don't know because I don't know if I have any space for it, but I would so buy an advanced suit plushie and bump ba da ba ba da ba Here we are with, in fact, I think, yep, it is in fact 100% new because what I was worried about is that maybe the uh, marketing on the outside was different, but then the inside materials are in fact the same. Nope, it actually is an officially brand new collector's box with new items in it, which is insane. And right here, it is not a mug, which some people were thinking. That is what I thought it was. It's actually a planter. So you can plant stuff in Spidey's head because it does have the same head of the advanced suit, which is awesome. So let's start off with the new one here. That's the front top. I'm definitely gonna keep this box. This is a really cool box. Um, and yeah, it's. I thought it was a mug or like a pencil case you can put your stuff in. But apparently <laughs> there's a hole in the bottom. It's really small, but still it's a Spidey's head. It's a advanced suit Spider-Man planter, which is awesome. And that looks so cool. So if you wanted to put like a covering on it, that could be a mug. You could kind of drink it out, uh, drink out of Spidey's head if you want to. But it's a planter, which is awesome. And if anything, I don't really, you know, I do have some plants, but I wouldn't want to put this outside and ruin it. So I might just put in some pencils here, um, kind of like a pencil case of sorts of Spidey's face. And I know exactly where to put it on my nightstand near my bed. And that's awesome. I'm really digging that planter. And I think that's a really cool item that they actually made for Spider-Man PS4. Culture Fly, 50% off. Right there, go on their website if you want anything, because they do make great stuff, not just for Spider-Man, but for other stuff too. Um, I think we'll save the backpack uh, for last, because that seems pretty cool. This, though, is awesome. This is the vinyl decal of the advanced suit with the white spider logo on the back. Here's the back too, made in China. Always great, thanks China. And here is a full view of it. It looks sick. Um, it sucks, because on my laptop, I already put the collector's edition sticker of the advanced suit logo on that la on my laptop, and I would have put this on it, but maybe I could switch it out, or maybe I can find a different place for it, but overall, it looks great. If you wanna put a decal somewhere, that is the one that you gotta go with, because it just looks awesome. Here, um, as I thought, yep, right in the back is the pans. Boom, oh, they look so great up close. The advanced suit one. Oh my god, the mm, the mask. Again, you guys know me, the advanced suit is my favorite spice suit. Pin set, really vibrant red on the white logo, which makes it stand out more than the other pins that do come in the collector's box and other stuff you can order online based off the game. There's the back of it, Marvel Spider-Man Gamerverse, pins, culture fly, pin set, boom. They look awesome. Uh, yeah, the advanced suit. Again, they're not really doing the advanced suit uh, face with the open lenses, kind of like what you see here on the decal with the kind of wider white lenses. But then here it's a bit shrunk. You know, he's kind of squinting a bit. And then here especially, this looks more akin to the resilient suit compared to that of the advanced suit with the more squinty eyes. Um, but still very cool and nonetheless, uh, freaking incredible. So pins, decal, and uh, planter. So I believe that's three out of the five. We do have, yeah, the bag and the notebook. So we're gonna go with the notebook next. As you can see, that's the bottom of it with a little, you know, styrofoam package of sorts. But this is interesting because it's closed and packaged to make it more official. That's awesome. Empire State University, um, it does say New York, 1865, with of course that being Peter's College. And there's the back in a package, all nice and wrapped up. So now I have a little tiny handbook, kind of like Blue's Clues, but now I uh, went from the original uh, collector's box. But now I have this cool journal with a little tag on the bottom. I think it might be a bookmark or something, or at least just a, a marker. Yeah, yep. That, so yeah, it's like a notebook journal of the ESU college that Peter goes to. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. So that's the kind of you know in between from the cover to the decals of the white spider logo, and then the really cool just line notebook. If you're in school and you want something cool to write in to take notes, get yourself this collector's box ASAP, guys, because this is awesome. This is one of the coolest things 
I think they made off the game is this, because it reminds me of the notebook that Peter has with all of his Spider-Man sketches, except now it's just the white spider logo. So again, empty book, but if you want, if you take a lot of notes like I do when I'm making videos and stuff and writing out, you know, notes uh, regarding just school subjects or anything you want to take notes on, this is your go-to book. And it's awesome. That's really, really cool. I'm really glad that they did that. So planter, pins, notebook, decal, and our Funko Pop buddy. But of course, the coup de gras of this very exciting collector's box will be the new backpack. So the first one was an actual backpack, like an actual one you can put on your back with straps. This is too, but it's like a different style of backpack. Um, and more like a bag than a backpack. But there it is, kind of, if I can lay it out flat, um, if I don't knock over the pop. But that is the, of course, advanced suit design with the white spider logo and the blue outline with two pockets here. There's two little bat, you know, you can put like water bottles in here and stuff or more merch or Funko Pops you want to buy if you're going on attending Comic-Con with the white spider logo and the red, uh, red web patterning with the black design. Of course, akin to the advanced suit, it's awesome. Uh, back is completely blue, but the front is where it's all, or I should say the back, because that's where you're gonna be holding it. Uh, it is the back design of the bag itself, and it's awesome. Inside is same, it's the same design on the inside as well. And it's kind of like transparent looking in, in the right light, but that's very, very cool and very, very sleek. And I'm glad that they, they made like two separation, two, two separate versions of it. One bag that actually is more kind of flexible, I would say, and you can, you know, more um, easily accessible than a standard actual backpack and a, no, a normal backpack with the standard collector's box. So again, for the price of less than $20, mine exactly was like $18.50, um, $18.50 is a Spider-Man Advanced Suit Backpack, a Spider-Man Advanced Suit Face Planter, which is very interesting. I was not expecting a planter, but I'll definitely put like pencils in here. Um, pins of the white Spider logo and the mask. The really, really cool ESU notebook, which I think has become one of my new favorite merchandise items of the game, which is really cool. And the decal with the advanced suit and the white spider symbol, all for the price of less than $20. And you can get it at online um, or at hopefully your nearby Walmart if these are still in stock. I think these are pretty abundant. I didn't see any that were like really exclusive or anything like that, like, you know, get them while they last. No, I didn't really see any of that. They seem like they're pretty decent designs. And without further ado, everyone, that is in fact, our unboxing of these items. And I'm really, really happy with everything we have here. I'll just kind of move the camera now. And I'm really excited to try and dive into all these myself and just collect them and put them on my wall and actually make use of these. And the Funko Pop just looks sick and put them next to all my other Spidey Pops. This is great. Um, and again, Insomniac Marvel, whoever's watching or listening to these, please make more merchandise or please make that Spider-Man plushie for the advanced suit uh, purchasable. I would love it and I'm sure all you guys would too. But anyways, guys, that has been the unboxing of the really cool, really sweet collector's box off of Spider-Man PS4 that you can get at Walmart. And of course, the Spider-Punk Funko Pop that you can get what I got off of Entertainment Earth. But without further ado, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Please, please, please go and get one of these yourself if you are a major Spider-Man fan, because I definitely know you will enjoy it. But anyways, guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.